this video, I'm going to be reviewing this sales pamphlet for the Britannica Junior. This is a 15, you see on the back, there's the 15. It uh, opens out. So that's what the full 15 look like. You see there's an index in volume one, and then it goes to volume, last volume 15 that has an atlas in it. So uh, the cool thing about this pamphlet is it's basically just a bunch of excerpts of the Junior Britannica. And part of what's interesting about this is when somebody like Elon Musk or Bill Gates talks about reading the Encyclopedia Britannica, you never really know for sure if they read the real big one or if they were reading this. So I assume they read the full one, but... Um, they could have been reading this instead or in combination. So this is kind of your starter version. It's got larger size text, which it's really just normal size. So not really small, easier to read. It's got the pronunciation. So it starts off with just the animal section, which is zoology. And these are just real excerpts of the actual pages. Then they have this, which is all the different animal entries in the Britannica Junior. And the one in all caps are covered by two. So that means it's kind of like the Micropedia and the Macropedia where uh, <coughs> They talk about it at the very end, but this ready reference index is the first volume. So let me get this in here. So it's really basically a dictionary. It gives you a one sentence definition. And then it tells you where to go. So the first reference for cat subject, pronunciation, definition, reference, and then other se secondary references and then any other charts or diagrams. So you're learning how to use that index. So the first number is the volume. The second number, 146, is the page number. And then A, B, C, and D are the four quadrants of the page. And then the rest of this is just, they just kind of go through and show you, here's all the articles on the various animal stuff. And then here's some excerpts of actual pages. They have this diagram on how to build a birdhouse. So there is some how-to stuff mixed in. They've got different breeds of dogs. And that's pretty much it.
So, uh, these pages look to be more the standard size. I didn't count out the lines, but this looks like the standard 40 to 42 lines of text, about 10 words per column from left to right uh, or per line so it gets you about a thousand words a page instead of 1500 and I can show you a comparison this is the Encyclopedia Britannica adult official version and uh you can see how small the text is. This is an eight and a half by 11 page. So this is the adult encyclopedia. And then this is the kids encyclopedia. see the difference right there. And this is the size that most normal encyclopedias are, or re other reference works are. Two columns, 40 lines of text, 10 words per line. So if they printed this at that size, it would probably be 50. Yeah, 50 volumes instead of 32. So that's just kind of a side thing, but yeah. That's the pamphlet here. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more stuff like this. Uh, check out the playlist. I have other pamphlets that I've covered um, rare stuff in the Encyclopedia Britannica universe, um, other types of just interesting classics, books, um, Easton Press, these leather-bound books that you'll see. So, uh, and more stuff coming. If you have anything that you want to, uh, sell me or loan to me or donate, um, and I can make a video about it, just let me know. You can leave a comment or contact me at support at timothykenny.com and I'll see you in the next video.